everybody welcome welcome this is sandy from sandy's backyard kitchen happy anniversary happy independence day to guyana happy 57 independence day to guyana to all our guyanese friends around the world and in guyana so today we decide to cook some cook up rice with chicken chicken cook up rice with vegetables some pumpkin and growing up my dad always put like green green plantain, cassava, whatever you have, you will put in the cook-up rice. And it's one of the best um, cook-up rice I've ever eaten. So today, today, whatever I have around the house, that's what I'm using. And what I have here, I seize in some chicken already in here. And this is some seasoned chicken. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that in here. It has everything it needs. What I also have for this cook up, look at it, it's on baji leaves. I actually, you know, it takes it takes effort and time to bring down everything downstairs here. I say, you know what? It's been a while since I like we hang out down here. And uh, we decide to hang out here. Plus it's it's been threatening to rain on and off, but it's not been raining. And so we decide to cook down here. I say let's cook down here. Uh, what we have for this cook up, I have some pumpkin. Um, I even have some green mango, some green mango to put to to put in the ma in the pot to boil for make balgo. For my Guyanese older friends might remember the word balgo, where you put a whole green mango and then you squeeze out. You let it boil and you cook up while you're cooking it. So I have the mangoes for that. I have some baji leaves here. This is some poi baji, and uh, to put in there as well. What I also have is some um, pigeon peas. And I also have black eye, some black eye there as well for our uh, pot today. I'm cooking it with coconut milk. I also have some cassava and I also have a plantain to put in. Eric, some, Eric is uh, from Parika Bagdam, he's saying. Oh, Parika Bagdam, I love Parika. I really never get to explore much of Parika other than like um, go to Parika, like to Parika market and then like to a scribble or something but never get the experience the back dam please reach out to us so maybe when I'm in Guyana next you can show me around the back dam a little bit I would love to um, check it out there love to so check out the chicken is cooking all, all nicely let me stir this in it's all one in fat all one in fat meal today to cook up Since we are, since it's Guyana Day today, since it's Independence Day today in Guyana, I'm trying to use all ingredients that I have for Guyana. So I actually season the chicken with all ingredients, nice, uh, fine thyme and so on from Guyana. And this is the cas rip. So I'm going to put a drizzling some cas rip on the chicken for a nice, for a nice darker color. And plus that sweetness from the cas rip will make it taste amazing. Sandra's saying she made the same thing with all the good stuff on the side, pigeon peas, red beans, black oh, eye, pumpkin. Nice. And I have pineapple. I say, you know what, I don't have any cucumber to cut up cucumber, but I sure have some pineapple, and I'll make some pineapple, so I'll put some pepper, some garlic, some shadow bunny, and salt and pepper on it. Bibi says she's looking forward to seeing you June 15th in New York. Oh, yes, guys. For all my New York friends, please, even if you have seen me before, okay, please come out and support me while I am there in New York. We'll have a couple meet and greets, and definitely there at the um, Curry Roti Bar restaurant. They're sponsoring, Sandy Backyard sponsoring me to be there. And uh, so guys, come out. Two to five. And come out and support me, okay? Come out and support me because uh, this is something I like to do. This is something meeting my fans. It's easier to meet, it, meet you guys this way. Uh, you know, things like that. So come out even though for all my friends who I've met before, come out and support me while I'm there, okay? That would be so awesome. And, and then check out, I'm going to St. Martin. Now Raymond Ramnarine is coming. So I'm so excited. This is just all sudden news that he's also coming. So it'll be amazing and great. 
so check it out I've, i have different videos that i'm putting up so check it out check out the tickets and see if you can you know get away it's an all-inclusive vacation <clears throat> let's turn this up Janelle's watching from Festival City. Yeah, where is Festival City? I'm not sure. That's what they tell us. Where is Festival City? I thought that might be a better guy, you know. Remind me where Festival City is. What I also put in this chicken, I also put some nice drop seasoning, you know? So I can smell that all the green seasoning that I put in, in here from the garden. I also have a plant in here. This is one thing my dad will put growing up when he's um let me go out here so I can throw this in the garden. He either have a green plant in, he either have a cassava, he'll put it in the cook up on the weekends my dad will be cooking. And he always cook cook up and he like it like a little watery, you know. So we have a green plant in here. Just throw it in the garden. The skin. So I'll be putting this also and I have cassava. Happy Independence Day, everybody, all my Guyanese friends around the world. Wow, see how that's brung up nice? I don't know if you can see it. The Tommy zoom in there, let them see. And let's put some rice in there now. Festival City is a part of Georgetown. Okay, okay. That is why I'm going to do now. Put some onions in here. Garlic. Ginger. This is all my green, my green seasoning that I cut up here ahead of time. So I have all my fresh green seasoning in there. Peppers. Thyme, I have some dry thyme in there as well. Let me tell you, cook up is not cook up without fine leaf thyme. Yeah, as you know it, cook up is not cook up without fine leaf thyme. I have some fresh thyme, but it's not very big. So right now I'm using the fine leaf, the dry thyme. But however, before the cook up is finished, we'll go get some fresh thyme and put it in. Let me know in the comments what you're cooking today. Uh, where are you tuning in from? So let's stir this up. This is all the nice seasoning in there. Now let's stir this up. If you think the rice look like, I actually wash the rice and leave it in some water. So the rice is a little like puffed up because it's soaked in some of the water. This is a rice, let me tell you, it took like, it will take like more than half an hour to cook. So look, look how nicely I stir this up. Where is my phone thing there? On the couch. Hmm? Right there on the couch.
We have people from the Bronx. Who's someone from the Bronx? I missed their name. June wants to know, when are you coming back to Trinidad, Sandy? I know, man. I know. <laughs> Were you just talking to your Trinidad friends? Yes, yes. I have some coconut milk. I'll put it in here. South Georgetown, Guyana, she's watching from. Oh, nice. Look get all that milk. That's Jeanette. Oh, Karen from Jamaica says, big up, Sandy. Oh, Karen? Yeah. Karen? Hey, Karen, I, I saw you text me. I didn't get to listen to your messages yet. But thank you, thank you. I miss you. I love you. Thank you so much for everything. Please tell your family, your brother-in-law. Uh, your, your sister, your mom, everybody said hello. I miss you. Thanks you again so much for spending the time taking me around Jamaica and all the stuff we did. I love it. I love it. So Karen was the third girl in your party be with Hazel. No, I was with Hazel as well. Yes. I know. So the three of you. Yeah, so she the was three the third. Of us. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, yeah. so look how rich and nice this is looking. East Coast of Bear, Pidge of the Island. Oh, East Coast of Bear, Pidge of the Island. Nice, nice. So what do we now? Put in the whole mango in here to start boil up. And uh, to make the palgo. Balgo, balgo, I think. Balgo. And this is, my dad used to do this, like I said, growing up, man. And I saw the, I saw I had these mangoes. I said, you know what? Let me try it. I've done it before, but it's been a while since I've done it. So this is cooking up in a little bit. I'll put in the baji and the pumpkin and all this stuff because the the black eye, the black eye and the pigeon peas is already cooked. So that's what I'm not putting in right away. Um, as when the rice is almost finished, then I'll put all these finishing touches. In a little bit, I have some cassava and plantain I'll put in, but I will let it come to a boil and then do that. Bibi says hi from the Netherlands. Hi, Bibi. And Welcome, Rosalind says friends. hi from Trinidad. Happy Independence Day. Thank you, thank you. Wow, guys, look a nice big pot to cook up. Of course, this is too much food for us, so I'm cooking for a whole heap of people. I have my two neighbors, and then I, um, Tommy has to go by his parents this afternoon, so I said maybe you can take some food for them. So I'm not cooking it very spicy. I have my achar. I made some delicious achar, guys. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I made a video for the recipe, and I also made for the first time some sweet and spicy mangoes. Um, Check out the recipes on YouTube. I also I already share it on Facebook. Check it out. It has the recipes and everything. So simple and it turns out so delicious. I'll be packing some for for when you know if, if a friend or so come over here, they have some. It's not very much, but if I get more mango, I'll be making as I go, and um, I'll be sending some for my sister as well. Everything that I made it with is from the garden, ex except for the, the the masala and um and and the garlic. But the peppers and all that, you know, it's from the garden. It was so good. And the, the, the fruit itself. So this, look, guys, this is coming to a boil. And the mango is in there steaming. Put a little bit more water in here, so you know the rice have enough, you know, enough sauce to cook up. Mohammed wants to know when you coming to Boston. Oh my gosh! Believe me, I wish I had. I wish I have. Um, I can duplicate many of me or us to go everywhere. I'm away to put in the cassava because I don't want the cassava to melt away. This cassava boils very fast. So wait a few more minutes and let this cook up a little bit, and then I'll put the other the other stuff I want to put in there. Deborah's saying to do exactly what you just did: cut up some mango and freeze it for when season's not here. Yes, yes. Look, look, guys, look. So nice that's looking. I see how nice the chicken and so look. Nice and toasty and cook, you know. Hey, buddy. 
Hello, hello. I see you're alive, which is a great time for me to give you your flower of the day. So, okay. Okay. I got this beautiful flower that I had my eyes on all day. Uh, Show the camera. Oh, nice, nice. Is that my guy? Not the, the my guy, Anna. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It's today's Guyana Independence. 57 yep. years. Wow. <laughs> Looking good. It smells good. Yeah. Is that a mango in there? Yeah, I'm steaming the mango and then I'll take it out and make some. You call it gurumba. No, no, not gurumba. Um, sour. My dad used to make it. He boiled the green mango, put the whole thing in there, and when you steam inside and take it out and scoop, and everything was um come out like comes out soft. Then you put a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper in it. Ooh. And make a sour to go with the cook up rice. Uh, we call it balgo. 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 Could I show you, should I bring you Craig over? No. Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to close this up a little bit, guys. Tony says hi from Toronto. Hi, Tony. Welcome, my friend. Are you guys warming up some in Toronto? I hope so. I talked to my friends a couple days ago. And she said, Kamari, and she said it was like 15 degrees still. My goodness. I thought you guys had a little warmer weather than that. So I'm going to let that cook that up a little bit, and then I'll add all the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will leave that for like five minutes to cook up. And um, in, that, in this way, I can shout out to a few people. <sighs> You can sit on the swing over there and I'll hold this down. Let's say hello to Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Cameraman in the house. He's cameraman, and I'm sure you guys hear me in the back from saying, Don't go like that. Don't go like that. That's too close. Uh, that's too high. You know. <laughs> right? Uh, let's see who else in the house. We have Tony Mark in the house from Toronto. Indy C. Passat in the house. Hi, in Hindi. Welcome, welcome. So we'll leave that for a few minutes and we'll go sit down over here. But we decided to cook around here. It's a little cooler. Right now, the deck actually had sun up there. So we decided to come down here where it's still shade. And um, plus, I want to show off my papayas. I grow this plant from a seed. And look, it's starting to give papayas already. You have Shirley in the house. Oh, I think I saw Rocky. Was Rocky in the house? Yeah. Rocky is in the house. And Sherry. Rocky and Sherry from being, um, being, Rocky. being Rocky and family. They're in the house, guys. And they're also coming. They're also coming here. They're coming to hang out with us in a couple of weeks for a weekend. So I'm excited. And I will be cooking together, which I'm very, very looking right. forward to. Right. And also Vlad, many of you also know Vlad from Hook and Cook. He's also coming. Hi, Joseph. Welcome, my friend. Um, Rocky says he can't wait for next weekend. Next weekend? Is it next weekend? Oh, it's folks. <laughs> <laughs> we are um, rich. Hi, welcome. Oh, my gosh, I can smell the niceness of that, um, of that cook-up. You know how that thyme smell when you're cooking cook-up is unique. Because that time smell makes it, as soon as that time starts to go into the smell, uh, and a coconut of milk, it really starts yeah. to bring out the cook up smell. I can smell it in the whole garden over here. Oh yeah. Reshma, hi. Molly, hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, let's go get some time, Tommy. Okay, you know we have Sylvie in the house, Lynette from South Africa. Hi, Lynette. Here, you go, you go. I'm going to show you. You remember where the time is, Tommy? Time, I got time over here. There's one over here. Got, I know. You got to too. Yeah, they're very small, so that's why I'm gonna just get a piece, like a little piece, a little stem. That's why I'm using the the dry thyme right now. If you can get me some of the bottom one, there, Tommy. This one back here. Yes. Anything big piece like that? Yes, yes. 
Yeah, look. the time here right now, the fresh time is precious for me. And then we stick it back in the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Show me a ringer. You stuck that stick in the ground. Oh, yeah, I know. Look how my moringa is doing so well. That's just the a side jam. And it's just a clipping that I put, you know, just a piece of stick I put in the ground. And no matter how, what size the stick, a bigger piece of stick will grow. And in less than six months, it will give flower because that's, that's, that's that one, you know. So I'm living proof about that. I'm waiting for the, um, for the, um, uh, for the, uh, what is the thing called, Penny? I'm waiting for the... Oh, for it to start to bear so I can show you guys. You guys are going to see every part of it because I'm so proud of it. <laughs> All right, so let's check on the cook-up. I pick, I pick a board pepper to throw in there as well. Actually, this is a chili pepper, India chili pepper. We have Waveney in the house. Hi, Waveney. Seema, hi, Seema. <laughs> All right, let me rinse this. Alright, let's check on this guys. This is where I want to build my kitchen. I want to build an outdoor kitchen at the back here as well. Let me show you like where I want to build it. I want to build it in this area out there. So I can have one up front. At the back here I can have one up front. And then um, and one upstairs. It's out there when I'm out there is like bush cook. <laughs> When I'm in here, I feel like I'm in pasta. Uh, when I'm in here, I'm, it's like patio cooking. Layla says big love from Guyana. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day, Layla. Layla or Lalita? Uh, good question. <laughs> Look how good this is looking. I'm not putting any more cash rip and so for color right now because when a pumpkin and so go in there, all that will give it a nice color, you see? And look, my mango is still steaming. And when, when we steam mango as well. Rocky yes. said, instead of building one next week, he'll just put his on a trailer and bring it here for you. Yes, yes, I love Rocky. Thank Rocky you, that's so nice of you to bring it to us, Rocky. No I kidding, he's in building one. Backyard. I need his <laughs> I need his backyard. He have a nice big kitchen and so there. That's something I want to do, but we don't want to invest too much here because this is not our permanent place. We want to also move to Marathon, so this is going to be uh, here and go and when I, whenever we have work in this area, we'll come here. So that's why we, we don't want to put that much money out, but I love, that's what I want to do, like something like Rocky's Backyard with his kitchen and everything and a shade and everything is perfect that you wouldn't not get wet, you have cabinets and everything out, out there, which I will get Rocky to come and help me build. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put in some pumpkin, but guys, you see, I'm cutting up my pumpkin big, big, you know. And also, this is planting, cutting up big, big as well, so. And this is some cassava or yucca. Rocky says he would love to build it and help you guys. Oh, thank you, thank you, Rocky. This is a planning vacation this trip, though. <sighs> Big pot of cook up rice here. Big pot with chicken. And all the green vegetables. I'll add a little bit more water. I put a lot of cream, coconut milk in there. So a little bit more water. I'll put some fresh thyme. <laughs> Rocky says he will work for food. <laughs> So put some that's fresh thyme in there, look at that. Jacqueline's saying it's looking mm -hmm. really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And everything gonna cook up nicely now. I'm gonna 
cover this and put some again more more vegetable better guys mm -hmm. and uh, for my for this for the balgo I'm taking out some garlic and then I have to go in the garden and pick some pepper and we'll put it whole in there to steam as well so we can put in our sour so this is a garlic, I'm gonna fish, I'm gonna fish it out later. So I'll put that there. Put like four nice flags. Like steam in there, and when it gets soft, I will take it out. If I was cooking on the grill, I would have put it on the grill to smoke. But since we are not cooking on the grill, I'll put it in here this time. I'll put my baji and um, the pigeon peas and the, and the black eye at the end of the meal because it's already boiled and the spinach I don't want it overcooked or the bhaji because I want that good vitamins and the nutrients from the greens you know what I mean oh man this is gonna taste so good I also made some delicious achar to go with this meal as well yesterday Um, young ladies watching from France. Okay. And Deborah's saying that's one healthy pot. Yes, yes, one healthy pot. Beautiful day it turned out. Happy uh, Independence Day to all my Guyanese friends around the world if you're getting on now. Happy Independence Day. We're cooking some Guyanese style cook up, but I'm trying to replicate my way and the way my I see my dad growing up, man. He'll put he'll put cassava plant in whatever he find around the house, a green plant in. So what I have in here, I have a green plant in, I have some cassava, and I also have chicken some pumpkin and all sort of fresh herbs and right now I have some green mango in here steaming to make some palgo to make some palgo and that's when the mango a green mango you put it in there it's steam and it's and then you take it out you cut it at the back and then you squeeze out it and then you put your, your pepper and your garlic and a little bit of salt and that's your mango sour that goes with the cook up or we call it balgo my dad Sumati is saying her mouth, my mouth is watering. Charmaine, Charmini says I'm coming over. Indra is watching from Groveland, Florida. June is watching from New York. Bernard, 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 Bernadette is saying your pot looks amazing. I'm, she's watching from Maryland. We have a lot of people from Maryland. And I love it. I love it. Watching from St. Kitts, Laverne. Nice, nice. So what we'll do now while this is cooking, we'll go get some. Um, Let's go get some pepper. I want the pepper to steam. Some of the steam pepper. I want a real taste of the balgo. Guys, I want a real taste of the balgo. And uh, what my dad will do is he will put the water to steam. I mean, he'll put the pepper to steam in the pot. I'm not going to put the hottest pepper, but I will put some... Uh, Scotch bonnet. I have some scotch bonnet here. So let's check it out. Here you go, Tommy. So we we'll get we we'll get a couple because I will need one. So this is some scotch bonnet and uh, let's go get some basil as well uh, to put inside as well. Some nice fresh green seasoning. Let's go over here. Let me show you my pumpkin, guys. Uh, my pumpkin is running like crazy, and it's starting to give flowers. Oh, gosh. That's so cool. A big old rock. I need to move that. John did that, too. So, look, guys. Look at all my pumpkin bushes I have here. The same pumpkin that I buy all the time. I throw the seeds here, and look, they're growing. And um, some of them already start to give 
pumpkin, but the but the um iguana, the iguana got him. So Man. I see, you see these. They guys were are big getting, pieces too. And yeah. they ate them all up. So these guys are. These guys are giving flowers, so hopefully they'll be giving some pumpkin. And check out my breadfruit plant. Look, it's giving, that's a whole brand new leaf. And there's another one coming. That means it's catching, it's doing well. I'm happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Papaya is doing well as well. Some avocado is over there trying to struggle. So this is some basil or the madman folks, a different type. So we'll just take some. But well, look how big this bushel is. Oh man. Oh, it smells so good. Smell it, smell it. Oh man, I can put this all over me. <laughs> Desiree's watching. Desiree's in the house. Hi, Desiree. What is that? I think this is it, right? I uh, do we need all spice or any of that stuff or not? No, this is good. It, I, every, all the seasonings are already there. I just want this pepper to steam. And then I want, this is for freshness at the end. Oh, look, we have some fresh, these are some new papayas that we have to transplant. We go from a seed. And these seeds are from the Jupiter Garden. So every time I bring papaya over here, I throw the seeds and hopefully they will grow. So that's some of them coming up there. Sumanti's saying everything's looking yummy from Trinidad. Oh, hi Sumanti. Big love, big love to Trinidad. This is the male papaya. See the, the flowers? You actually can eat them. They, they're really have a lot of nutritional value and they're great to tease. They're very aromatic and soothing for the soul. But Sandy loves them. And these are the yellow ones. She has a white male flower papaya up front. You don't know what you're getting until they grow. But she likes them because the bees come over and will cross pollinate. And uh, it helps the garden grow and flourish more. And our, her neighbor has like six beehive sand. I don't know how many. Yeah, so we have a lot of nice made of honeybees. So you see these are some whole garlic you put in there to steam as well for my balgo. And the mango is still doing well. Check it out. Check out the pumpkin. The cassava. The green planting. Everything cooking nicely in there. Now I'm going to put a pepper to... I'm going to just put one for now. One pepper. Sumanti's going to be in Orlando next Friday. Oh, nice. Uh, it's beautiful right now. Weather is perfect. Yeah, we actually, Rocky's coming down that weekend to visit us here, so we won't be in Orlando. Maybe the following weekend. I think. So everything is cooking here. Tara from Guyana says everything's looking yummy, Sam. Thank you, thank you. What I'm going to do now is just uh, take out some of this bad leaf and ha. Well, I'm going to just take it off and put it. Let me. I have nothing going on right now. We're just waiting on that. We'll, we can just hang out and say hello. Let's hang out and say hello. <laughs> you want your phone? Or yeah. Would you, or would you like this one? Yeah, that one. And uh, to say hello to everyone as, hey, as much as I can see. Hi, Princess Sophia. I'm from Guyana. Welcome. Big Independence Day to you. Big Independence Day. Oh. Thank you for shouting out where you're tuning in from. I love it. I love it. So right now the cook-up is cooking. And I want it to come to an end. When it comes to an end, that's when I'm going to put in the bhaji and the, um, you know, the, the peas and the black eye. Hi, Stacy Jones, watching from Esquibo. Big love, big love going out to Esquibo. I love Esquibo. Esquibo was, was also one of my home. I have my house is still there, and I can't wait to come back. I lived there for 10 years. Um, we have Guy Tree in the house. Thank you, Guy Tree. Tara, hi, Tara. How are you? Gita, hi, Gita. Happy Independence Day, Sandy. Happy Independence Day to you as well. Uh, you look beautiful. Thank you. 
Hi, Dr. Sid. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for being part of us. You're always there for us, always leaving encouraging messages, uh, Data. Thank you so much. We have baby. Hi, baby. Sherry Narine. Welcome, my friend. Uh, Varsha. Varsha. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. My husband is from Borby, she said. Welcome, welcome. Devika. Hi, Devika. I should put, I should try to put this down so I don't have to hold it and be so tired. <laughs> I see Angita, welcome my friend. Um Liwa Wati Singh. Hi Lia Wati Singh from Guyana. Big love to you. <laughs> I tell me what kind of song that I gotta go change that music. <laughs> hey, hey, Tommy, Tommy. Sorry, what? sorry, here we get Tommy here. Hi. Can you lower that on the lowest form? It's like it's on high there or something. I don't want to overcook the cook up. I don't want it to burn, you know. I want to take its time and cook. Let it cook the milk go in the rice and the chicken and thing. I like the chicken tender but not fall apart kind of thing, you know what I mean? I'm watching from London. Blessing to you. Thank you. I didn't get to see your name. Oh, let me see. Oh, man, I didn't get to see it. Um, so, Mawati, hi. Welcome to Mawati, Sandra Bissoon. Hi, Sandra Bissoon. How are you doing? Hi, um, ba Bala Kisun, Bala Kisun. Sorry, Bala Kisun. We have Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Mala Ramnarain. Happy Independence Day. Hi, Sandy. I'm from Borby, 64 Village. Nice, nice. I love it. When I come to Guyana next, I can't wait to go um, explore ice cream. I mean, Barbies more. I love Barbies. I went all the way to the end with my brother when I went two years ago. When I took Tommy a year ago, um, we went all the way to Rosal Market. But I, like I can't. That place. Tommy loves it. He actually drove there, so it's easier to drive and everything. And so I can't wait to go visit again. Susan, hi Susan. Yeah, say name is Perry Tech. Was hi? This is Karen and Mona, and Benji. They're saying hi. Hi Benji. Hey hi Mona. Julianne says um, is watching from New York, but she lives in Amsterdam. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Who else? Tommy? All right, so we have Siobhan is watching from Guyana. We have Cheryl who's in the house from London. It's bedtime. Go to bed. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And we have Farbeti in the house as well. We have Hazel De Silva in the house from Trinidad. Big love, big love. And uh, Nanda, hi Nanda, Fazil, hi Fazil, hi Sandy and Tommy. Fazil is saying. Hi uh, Fazil. Uh, BB Singh wants you to bring you sugar with you when you go to New York. Sugar, your girlfriend. Oh, sugar, yeah. yeah sugar, yes. Sugar. Oh my gosh, let That's me. That's a great idea. Yeah, let me tell sugar, she's gonna love that. Yeah, yeah, Thank you, thank you. Yes. Actually, actually, yeah, we have the we have the Airbnb. Yeah, hi Shirley, welcome. And um, Nalini, hi, welcome. So yes, we are coming to New York, my friends. We are coming. What day? Well, no, the day we're gonna the be The fifteenth. Yes. We're gonna be fifteen. We're having a Thursday, the fifteenth, from two to five. We'll have a meet and greet at the Cory Road box on Liberty. So guys, we're gonna bring if, some fun stuff too. So come, we have all kinds and of we'll little gifts. And we'll be cooking a little, 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 little taste and so Just on. Fun stuff. Yeah, so come and visit, show your support, okay? Uh, Cory Wotibax is sponsoring us to be there. Yes. So let's support and show. They also deliver let's all make Sandy, the let's make Sandy, you know, great there. Yeah, let's, it's just going to be a party. Then we're not sure what we're doing Sunday, so if we get a big turnout there, maybe we could plan like a fun thing for Sunday or something. So yes, yes, Father's Day. We'll definitely yes. do that. Father's Day, maybe. Yes, uh, yes. Sherry Narine's in the house. She's from beautiful Trinidad. And Shaban and says, Sandy, you look beautiful. Uh, Sir Janine Poot is uh, she's from Markman, Ontario. Hansa, Jimmy. Cheryl hi. says hi. Sandy's backyard. Sandra says good evening. Uh, Priya is in the house and she says enjoy your dinner. She loves your sitting area. Oh, thank you, Priya. We like the tropical island in the background. I know, Priya. Guess what? Uh, we don't even sit here much. Wait, tell me, put on that fan. Yeah, oh, it's we, on. We don't use this room. We need to I, we never. Room. John uses this room. John uses this room. And, um, we take over. But we, we need to take over. We'll be taking over this room, guys. We'll be taking over because it keeps us away from the mosquitoes as well. We have Zabita from watching from Sornam. Big love mm -hmm. going on to Sornam. We love you, Sornam. Happy Independence Day to everyone. Trinidad, 
uh, Shirley from Trinidad. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Deborah Ann is saying hi. Uh, you always look. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Usha Devi. Thank Uta. you, Usha Devi. Preeti is also in the house. She's saying this is so beautiful. Uh, let's go back. You keep going, I'll go up. Uh, <laughs> Devika said the food looks absolutely amazing. See, we're going to hit this real quick. Devika says, hi, Sandy from Trinidad. And, that, and then BB says, Sandy, Tommy. Yeah, Devika Mahabir is from Trinidad. Big love, big love. Uh, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Good to see you again, my friend. BB wants to know when we're getting married. I asked her three times. Just the same <laughs> answer. We're, we're basically married. You know they say, once you say I do, then they, I don't. <laughs> we're happy. We might have a big party one day, though. We have a party everywhere we go. Every day is a celebration. We'll get a flower too. Let's go check on the um. Wisconsin's in the house. Hi, Usha. Ooh. The house of cheese state. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, what happened? Did our stove went off? Did I kill it? Oh my gosh, our stove went off, Tommy. Oh no. All right, we gotta light up our stove, guys. We gotta light up our stove. <laughs> um, Sandra's asking, what's for Memorial Day weekend? Oh, we're going to um. We're going to Vero Beach. To uh, yeah, we're gonna light up, guys. You have yeah, the lighter. Uh, no, it's over there. I need person. Yeah. Tommy's gonna light up the stove. Hi, Valerie Carter. How are you? Thank you, Valerie. She said we made we make a great couple. We're technically married. We don't need a paper to prove it. But maybe we'll do something. Yeah, right now. We love it this way. We love it this way, okay? <laughs> we might just have the reception party. Actually, yeah. everywhere, every country we go to, we'll have a wedding party. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hi, Anthony. How are you? From Trinidad and Tobago. Big love, big love. We're going to Vera Beach. They're asking what we're doing for Memorial Day. We're doing yes, we are going to Memorial Day on that Sunday. And uh, we'll be cooking by the beach in, in Melbourne. No, in Vero. Vero, at Lisa's house. Lisa's uh, house. Uh, a new friend and family and fan. All in one. So now she's family. <laughs> So Client. And a, and, well, yeah, and her sister's a client too now. Yes. Uh, they're looking for a home in the Keys. So we're looking forward to a great day there with her, her and her daughters. Nice, nice. And John's going to go fishing and throw a net. We have Gina Law from Georgia. Hi, Gina. Hi, Sandra. Reception party with all your viewers. Yay. Seriously. Tell me, that's something you Hey, Tommy. Do. You got to video me. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> She's got the music in the background. There she goes. She get all wound up. Hi, Sandy. Happy Independence Day. And yes, condolences to all the families over there for that unfortunate accident. Yes, yes. We're sending love for everybody. Uh, she cool. loves how you love the That's culture so cool. and jewelry. Sandy's got her farmer overalls on. She's in a baggy mood. Sandy Partey. Um, Warka, the Warka says uh, greetings from Suriname. I think I guess they can hear the music. Mahoney Creek, East Coast America, Eileen. See, you started talking about marriage and she just starts dancing and dancing. See how happy she got? <laughs> <laughs> Every day is a good day. Uh, Savvy says, hi from Trinidad. Usha wants to know, what kind of cheese do you like, Sandy? Oh, I don't know, really. You love everything. I don't really have a, a specific cheese. Johnny's up there doing chores? What? Um, Barbara's saying hi from Toronto. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Toronto. Uh, Barbara, can you tell us when do you guys start planting? Sandy wants to sneak out there to see the gardens. When is a good time? Yes, for my Canadian friends, I am coming to Canada, but I'm waiting until your garden is grown and there are vegetables on it because I want to come to your house and video your garden and all that stuff. Mm. You have, and same as New York, same as New York. I know we'll be in New York in a couple of weeks. I might, maybe might start it to there, but in Canada, definitely, definitely. Look at this, guys. 
Um, Bella saying, hi, Sandy. Love from St. Martin. Dinner's looking delicious. Love your place. Oh, we, we see you, um, Bella, when we're out there. Make sure you try to locate us. Oh, in St. Martin? Yeah. Yeah, Bella, reach out to us. Reach out to us. We can meet up on our downtime. Sandy, what's cooking? Some cook up rice, Chinese cook up rice with fresh garden, fresh uh, vegetables, and some pigeon peas and black eye. Um, Sir Shireen says, Hi Sandy, greetings from Cape Town, South mm -hmm. Africa. Oh, nice, big love, big love going out to South Africa. It's also one of our destinations. I'll put this pepper in here. And what I'm going to do, you see the mango is bust open. It's like when it's broke open like that, and I can feel it a little bit. You take it down and you let it cool off. So I'll take out the mangoes now. See, there's the other one here. Is this one here? Uh, someone tell you to try Valerie saying try Aki and Sawfish cook up. Ooh, wow. That'll be delicious. I have some Aki and I have some saltfish. Salted fish. I brought back a little bit ackee from Jamaica when we were there. So I'll let this steam a little bit more. Look at this one is bust open already. So I'm gonna let this sit there. Usher says she's. Uh, they're getting on a plane. They're coming for some cook up. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're in Wisconsin. Uh, Joseph is looking in from France, and she loves the positivity um, that we're sharing. Barbara says, it's a little bit cold past the month, but we're having some warm weather now, so we'll be planting now, says Barbara in Canada. Oh, nice, nice. You want to start to plant now? Uh -huh. It's just now starting to warm up enough. Mmm. Wow. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put some, I'm going to start putting some baji leaves in here. But I'm putting it in whole, I'm just breaking them up a little bit. Uh, Shafina says, shout out from Orlando. She's living there. Oh, hi, Shafina, mm -hmm. big love to Orlando, big love. We are coming to Orlando soon as well. In a few more mo um, weeks, we'll be in Orlando. And you know, I'll be planting these stems as well. I plan to plant these stems so that I have baji leaves for when I'm cooking dal or soups or cook up so rice. the stems root? Yeah, the stem will root, guys. So I'll take out each one of these and I'll actually plant them. So let's stir this in and then we'll let it steam up in there. Chandra Ramdeen is in the house. She's such a beautiful young lady. Beautiful and blue. <laughs> uh, Jawanti saying hi from Guyana. Happy Independence Day. Enjoy your cooking. Happy Independence Day. Yeah. Happy Independence Day, Guyana. Ashti, Ashti uh, says love from Guyana. Your cook up looks great. Let's, you know, I wanted to come live just because of my Guyanese friends right now, because of the tragic suffering we're going through with what went on there in the last few days. So I say, you know what, let me cook outside, let me bring some sunshine, let me bring some plants, let me bring food to the, to the nature of Guyanese right now, because we're all suffering right now in our hearts from what went on there. You know, many of you know we had a big tragic with uh, secondary school and 19 kids were they passed well, passed away so we're still praying for all these families and keep praying because it's going to be for a while this suffering and this pain of missing kids and missing the community and in the community and the family and the country and in throughout the world because that's part of us too and even though we're here in the united states you can be in england canada wherever it is this is part of us as well so keep praying and keep sending good energy to Guyana. Thank you so much. I have to comment. That's what Sandy's about. She's very, it's very unfortunate what happened. It's a devastator. But you also have to keep creating that vibe of energy. Because yes. we all are vibration energy, as she says. And, you know, so that they'll feel that over there. When you're, you know. Look you at send the, good energy, right. they will feel it. That's what You I'm send saying. bad energy, and believe me, they will feel bad energy. If you think of just amazing stuff and good stuff, and you send, you close your eyes, and pretend you're hugging the mothers and you're hugging the, the brothers and the sisters and the grandparents and you're hugging them. You will send that energy to them and it will make you feel better as well. It, it's both ways. It, it goes both ways. 
celebrate life. Even yes. if they pass, you, you still, they're still part of us. Right, exactly. So I'm going to take out this uh, pepper. This pepper is already steamed, like you uh, see there. Um, Swari, uh, Swarty asks, are these poi or si sage? No, this is poi. So I'm going to take out, guys, I'm taking out the pepper. So I can steam it when I make this. I'm going to take out the other mango as well. Check it out. Take this out. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find the... Um, where I'll have to... Oh, look, the garlic, guys, look. The garlic should be done as well, so I'll take that out. I mean, oh, ooh, nice and soft garlic. And when this is all cool off, I will um, make my little, I'll make the balgo or the mango sour. This looks delish. I'll take some of this basil here, guys. Check this out. Take some of my basil. And I'll spring up in there. This is pretty much finished. I'll just let it sit on the heat here for another 10 minutes. Put some nice basil. Oh, this is part of the married man folk family for my Guyanese friends. So I'll turn this up. Uh, see the nice color, the brilliant rich color with the pumpkin and the uh, um, and the cash rip. And now what I'm gonna do this is a pigeon piece and the black eye. I'll also put that in here. Coming to an end with everything, guys. Look at this. I put all my finishing touches, all my green seasoning. <laughs> Italians, everything in here now. I will stir this cook up rice up. Chicken cook up rice, man. Wow. And I just sit in here. Man, it's gonna be so tasty. Mm. So yummy. You're malicious. Alright. So thank you all. Thank you all for being part of us. Thank you for... Stay amazing, everybody. Our cook-up is finished. I'll just close it off and I sit there. And we'll clean up a little bit. But happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day to Guyana. To all our friends, family, loved ones in Guyana. And to all our Guyanese friends around the world. And thank you all around the world, my brother, sister, family, just every all our family, our kitchen family, kitchen to kitchen family around the world. Good morning, good evening, good night. Coming your way here from South Florida, from our garden, cooking some delicious Guyanese dishes on this beautiful evening. Stay amazing and have a great, great uh, weekend, everyone. Have a great weekend. <laughs>